We pulled Esme's credit card records. There was a bus ticket purchase yesterday. Destination Toronto. Any stops along the way? No, it was a straight shot. If Esme's hiding out with her former nanny, we have the address of where to find her. Laura, I just heard about Kevin. How is he doing? He's stable. He's, um... Well, he's in and out of consciousness right now, but, um... They're doing more tests. And you? Are you able to hang in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am. <laughs> Laura, he is so strong. He will pull through this. Please. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I wish I could offer more than just words. I think you can. You can come back to the PCPD. Have the Toronto authorities been notified? They have, but there's another way. Which is? Dante has met Esme's former nanny. We could reach out to her, keep things nice and clean. That is, if the department can spare us. Absolutely. I'll make arrangements with your superior. But I do know it's your brother's trial today, so if you want me to send someone else with Dante. I'll go. Are you sure? Finn understands that this is important. OK. Good luck, and keep me posted. I'll be there. You look shocked. Well, because I am. I, I am. The PCPD has been without an active commissioner for months now. It's been chaotic and confusing. It may even be part of the reason that Esme was allowed to slip between the cracks. But I, I thought that Mac was doing an excellent job. Oh, he is, he... but not only has he made it very clear that he is not interested in the position full time, he's been out of the country for I, I don't even know how long now. The department needs stability. And you could provide that. Laura, Laura. Listen to me now, just hear me out, okay? Next to Jordan, who's made it very clear to me that she's happy in her new role as the deputy mayor, you are the next most qualified candidate. Yes, and the most controversial. I forget about my public humiliation. What about what happened with your granddaughter? I don't blame you for that. I shot a child, Laura. But you were being manipulated by your former director, Brennan, right? And on top of that, Valentine chose to keep you completely in the dark about what was going on with Charlotte. This was an accident. It was a horrible accident, but it's one that doesn't change the fact that I believe that poor Charles would be safer under your leadership. And for what it's worth, I agree 1,000%. Oh, you guys, you, you have no idea what that means to me. But I'm sorry. I cannot. I, I can't. What happened with Charlotte, it, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm not ready. I, I don't deserve the okay. badge. Listen, listen. I understand what you're going through. I really do. But I am asking you to take some time and to consider this offer. Hang on. Portia, have you heard anything about Kevin? Is he, is he going to be okay? 